All right, guys, so I'm so sorry for that intro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if you haven't guessed yet, um, the point of this video is fear and how we can use this to create more conversions, boost sales on our website, all that fun stuff. So let's just get into it. Let me, let me explain a little why this works. So businesses tend to work on emotion um, because because people are more opt to purchase on emotion rather than logically. So businesses will really target that emotion to boost those sales. So let me explain. So a good example, but a bad one would be those infomercials you see at three in the morning. Who they're targeting at that point, at that time, is only people up. The people that are drunk, chilling on the couch, slamming some beers back, they're lonely, they're sad, and they're feeling bad for themselves now. Because they're looking at the TV and they're seeing these, these nice, beautiful models and these big old strong dudes using P90X and getting all swole and looking dope doing it. Um, and that business is, or that marketing tactic is hitting their insecurity emotion. And it's kind of messed up to say, and it's weird, but it's business and it's marketing and sales. And that's what we do. If you're here watching the video, that's because you want to boost sales on your store. So. Let's get into it. So the emotions that we can hit are good ones, not always bad. There's awe and there's wonder and there's passions and we love hitting passions and going down those passion niches like fishing, golfing and sports and all that good stuff. And we can hit negative emotions like pain and insecurity and the reason you're here today because you clicked this video which is fear. Um, ooh. Uh, but it's not as, as freaky as it sounds. So fear and targeting the fear emotion. So the reason I picked fear one is because it's the theme. It's it's Halloween coming up and we're in that spooky season. Ooh. But the real reason why this works is I think SpongeBob can say it better than I can. Imagination. Yeah, imagination. Exactly, because people tend to overthink. So this just works because when you throw fear in someone's head, it feels like they're doing themselves a disservice not to purchase your product. You know what I'm saying? Dope. This is a lot easier said than done. So let me jump in my laptop and show you some real examples of, say, a product I wanted to sell. All right, guys, so we are now in my computer and let's do some stuff. So first, let's go on a, a wholesale website. So Ali. Express. Let's go to AliExpress. So there's three main things that people will spend the most amount of money on, and that's their children, that's their personal health, and that's their wealth. Their wealth, like, they'll spend money to make more money. Um, but there's also a nice fourth one, which is their pets. So yes, their children again. So let's go in here and let's search dog. Let's go in the dog niche, and let's hit orders. If you click orders and it gives you kind of the um it's the top selling products these products tend to have sometimes they're american suppliers so they're better shipping times um usually better quality if they're if they've been sold a lot um usually the suppliers are a lot easier to handle with um so yeah so let's look at these and so product i see right right off the bat that i like um is this one perfect so right off the bat, we can just see that this is a, a dog collar pendant. So it's a pendant on the collar. So it just hooks on to the, the, the little loop around their, their collar and it lights up. So it lets your dog be visible at night. So this is really dope product, very cheap. Um, you know, you could upcharge this product for like $15 and, and take that difference after, after your cost and ads and everything. But what most people do, and this is why I wanted to make this video, is that they'll just talk about the specs of the product and, and the, the visible things on it. Um, just like saying it's cute and Ooh, look my dog lights up and it's high quality and it, it's brighter than other, any other dog pen you'll ever see and it's durable and it's brighter, it's comfortable, whatever, whatever. Obviously it's not comfortable, it's whatever. Anyways, people aren't hitting the emotional side of the product. So, 
So it's out of fear factor. Let's get a little dirty with this and, and do some, some business work. So if we went on a new tab and went to Google and we said the, how many dogs get hit by cars each year? How many dogs get hit by cars each year? Okay, that is a big number. Okay, 1.2 million dogs are hit by cars every year. So instantly, fear factor. That's my dog, I don't want him getting hit by a car. But let's see if we can get a little bit deeper. Pets get hit by, by trains, by car. How many pets get hit by cars? Okay, so let's say, how many pets got hit by cars each year? Okay, six million. Now we're doing a lot better. This is this has got a little bit deeper. So in our in our ad copy, when we, when we make our creative, what we're gonna say is is six million pets get hit by cars each year. Okay, each year, and and you see what we went from dogs to now it's more broad. It's pets. So now we have this bigger number instead of that 1.2 million for dogs, we have the six million number for, for cats and dogs, but we won't mention the cats in it because we're targeting dog people, but dogs are still in this category. So let's get deeper, okay? So we can say most popular dog breeds. So the most popular dog breeds, all right? the top 10 dog breeds. All right, so beautiful. This is this is our product research now. This is us going in, this is us understanding our client, our customer, and exactly who they are. So these are the top 10 most popular dog breeds out there. So what this means for us is, if we target the top 10, we are targeting a broader spectrum of people, but all with the same interest. So when we make our, our Facebook ads or whatever we're making, um, these ads will, will be a lot cheaper because, because we're hitting a wider audience. So now when we go to Facebook, we have our 10 breeds of dogs. So what do we do with these 10 breeds? So let's just say we're doing $5 budget, five ad sets. Um, so you're gonna wanna put one breed of species in each ad set. So first we're gonna do Golden Retriever. And then under the Golden Retriever ad set, we're gonna go and design a creative. So under the creative, what we're gonna want to do is maybe in in your description, uh, you're gonna want to talk about golden retrievers. Now we're getting more personal. We're talking about golden retrievers because this person has a golden retriever, or they love golden retrievers. It's not just this is not just any mutt anymore. This is this is their dog. They're gold. They're good boy. They're golden boy. Now what we're gonna want to do is in the scroll stopper, which is the first the photo that pops up or the first two, three seconds of your video, you're going to want to introduce the golden boy. And now this person isn't seeing a mutt, they're seeing these facts pasted on the golden boy. So this doesn't just become a golden boy, this becomes their dog. Because I, I don't want to sound racist, but every golden retriever looks like any other golden retriever. So this is not just a golden boy, this is Max. So now this old lady looking at her screen is like, oh, poor Max, I don't want him to get hit by a car. Well, neither do we. So we're gonna offer you a solution. We're gonna offer you this pendant, Max won't get hit by no more cars. Yeah, so she sees the first two, three seconds of the video, instantly she's invested. This old lady is looking at Max. Don't, guys, do not, do not show a picture of a dog getting hit by a car. That's not where I'm taking this video. Just spit some facts, spit some images, maybe some videos of a happy dog with a little light pendant on. Like make your own your own videos now because you know it's very competitive. You can't just be ripping people's stuff off, ripping videos here and there. You gotta start making your own product images, your own your own videos, or getting someone off Fiverr or Upwork to, to create these for you. And so now, so now this old lady is fearing for Max's life, and we have offered a solution. She comes to our website and she purchases or she's ready to purchase and she notices we got quantity breaks we got you buy two you get 10 percent off hey next door neighbor janet j-dog janet got janet's got a riley 
Jenna's gonna Riley and her birthday's coming up. So now, so this old lady wants to buy, buy her a, a dog pendant for her friend. And now you, as a, as a seller, know that if you sell two products in one, you save money on shipping costs too, because they ship together. So now you're saving a buck. That's how you give an old lady a heart attack and you take her money doing it as well. Now, that's pretty much the business side of things. On the outside, that's what, what businesses are doing. That's how they're targeting you and that's how they're taking your money. And so if you kind of understand this method, you can you can roll with the big dogs. You can feel like like Sarah McLaughlin on those, those sad dog animal like shelter videos. Oh my God. I literally want to cry. Do not watch that Sarah McLaughlin video. I wanted to pull it up for an example, but I don't know about copyright things or anything like that. And I don't want you guys to see that. That, you know, don't use people's emotions to sell your products. It's sad. <laughs> There's like a dog <laughs> limping. All right. Oh, that was sad. Okay. Guys, we made it to the end. Goodbye, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. If you guys made it to the end, you know, please subscribe. This is my first video, show me some support. If you, if you, if you, if you. What you can, you do, you what you want, you. What should we say in the comments? I want you guys to say something. Yeah, I don't know. In the comments, like, comment something. That'd be dope. I've never had someone comment on a, on a YouTube video before. That'd be cool. Um, say, say, say maybe a, I don't know, surprise me. Sub send me a surprise in the, in the comment section below. That'd be dope. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, do, do that thing that YouTubers do. Because I don't really know what I'm doing on here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got some valuable information on it. And yeah, I'll leave you with that. Goodbye, guys. Happy Halloween. Do not be mean to people on Facebook ads. Facebook does not like that. So don't don't target people themselves. So if you're like, hey, you got yellow teeth. You don't want that anymore, right? Yeah, don't do that. Your ads will get banned and your, your account will get blocked. Uh, not that I've done that before. That was graceful. These guys.